I heard that Cleopatra used to masturbate and the way she would do it is she would cut a gourd open or send her servants to cut mm -hmm. a gourd like a squash. Mm -hmm. They would have to go catch bees in the gourd and that was the vibrator. Hey, hey, hey y'all, it's your girl, Fanita. I got a podcast. The show before the club. This is where we sit, chat, talk, and we drink. Bo bottoms up, bitch. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Bottoms Up with your young, hot, sexy host, Fanita. And today's episode that I have in store for you is so amazing. We're gonna talk about masturbation, being a bully when I was a kid. We're gonna talk about how big my co-star's husband's dick is. And we're gonna talk about you guys and your fan stories. But first, I'm gonna introduce my guest. And Noah Beck is playing soccer with Messi. He called me last night and said, I can't make it. And I know what I said last week, guys, but I, Noah Beck will be here. Just like, he loves me. Like, that's my man. Like, that's my boyfriend. But instead, I have my little big sister. She's a mom. She's a content creator. She's a director. She's a producer. She's an editor. She wears so many hats and she interchanges them flawlessly. I have Mrs. Amber Wallen. Hey, everybody. Or the, the people in the room and the <laughs> listeners out there. Hey, y'all. Hey, this is, this is, y'all know me and Amber. Amber, I'm so happy to have you here. I know. Well, we're arch enemies now, so we kind of have to spill the beans that we actually yeah, are obsessed you know, with each other. No, yeah. You know, word on the street was Amber was never going to see me again for whatever reason. Um, so I'm glad you, like, put that behind you. I did. I yeah. had to look past a lot with you. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, really, you do. The glassware, the trips, but <laughs> you, st you, still, you still are somehow in the family. No, listen, we're locked in. We really are. I mean, and you know what? I, I'm not going to share everything. But you remember the first time I had you watch Wild for like 30 minutes? And she dropped off the bed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if you wanted to share with people oh. that you did that. I was like, they don't need another reason to hate you. <laughs> but but let me let me explain. But we, okay, when you I literally broke out in tears about oh, it. Oh, of course. Oh, and to be fair, like if you have a baby or you're a parent, your child has fallen many times. You just yeah. don't tell anybody my, when it's happened. My, so I had to immediately, yeah, you know, I had to immediately reassure you. I was like, this child has fallen off the bed at least eight times. Like, no, under, and my, under and my, my nephews watch. like have fallen off the bed too. But like, when, cause it, it was like the first time I'd ever like really like watched Wild alone, alone. And like, she was like, like tussling on the bed. And I was like, wow, you're going to fall. Like, I knew she was going to fall. <laughs> and she, she tried to grab the blind, that hand slipped. And, and then, <laughs> Next to the bed was like a, a drawer of stuff. Like, yeah, like, you know that pink roller thing you have in yep, that room? Yeah. It was like, and so like the fall sounded crazy. It did. <laughs> oh, no. I remember because I was, you're, you were watching her because I was downstairs on a meeting. So yeah. I was like, Fanita, I just need you to 30 minutes, watch her upstairs while I take this call. And I'm, I'm being asked on the call, like, tell us about your career aspirations and stuff. And I just hear it. <laughs> it upstairs. sounds like Chicago upstairs. And I, <laughs> I was like. Either L.A. had an earthquake or my child is not alive upstairs yeah. under Fanita's and, care. And then Wild starts screaming bloody murder, which obviously she should. But then she just kind of like fell asleep. I guess she like tired herself out. Yes. Then we were up there and she was sleeping on my chest and it was like actually like really cute. <laughs> yeah, except for you were crying. I was like. Yeah, because I was like. This I, was that a 30 me... minute watch. Exactly. And it was like. <laughs> You know, I don't want it to be banned from seeing Wild. And it was like my, right. my one shot at being a babysitter. And she drops off the bed. And then the first time you walked Gucci, he made you fall into a puddle. The first time I walked to Gucci, Gucci is her dog. And he is very big. And we were walking down a hill and I was wearing my Crocs. And it was like a big puddle. And it was just like, it was just like a normal puddle. A normal puddle. And then, <laughs> it was an angry puddle. And Gucci just pulls me through the puddle, crock slip, I fall, I face plant, knees down. It was like, it was a whole Balto, thing. but like a racist puddle. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I'm like, about, this bitch bobsledding I'm, through I'm the covered, water? <laughs> I'm covered in dirt. There's like a woman with her uh, daughter. She's like, do you need a towel? And I'm like, please don't, uh, don't acknowledge that I'm literally covered in dirt and dust. And then Gucci's just like chilling. So yeah, um, Amber's family hates me. Yeah, every member of my family has dragged you either like physically <laughs> or, one or time, verbally. Uh, I was opening up to you and your husband the first time I met you about my childhood and her husband, Ben, my favorite. Ben is actually my dog, though. Yeah, Ben started uh, singing while I was trauma dumping. Yeah, he was scoring the, the, the child abuse. <laughs> he I was, was doing like, like he, was, uh, he was giving like the background music. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about how Wild got here from having sex. And then before that, before came sex came masturbation. Amber, oh, always. tell me, when was the first time you ever masturbated? Okay, here's the thing about it. Oh, are we sipping now? We're sipping. We're sipping. We're sipping. 
You know, I think I masturbated at a very young age, but didn't know it was that. It was okay. like, why am I always hanging out near the dryer? Like, <laughs> why am I begging my mom to give me like laundry as a yeah. chore? I was like, oh, I was like, dang, my brother, like, can I switch dishes for laundry with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I'd be just like hugging the, that's <laughs> like hugging the dryer that was shaking me. So I would probably say around like 10 or 12. Mm -hmm. And then you go, you go during recess on the playground and then you slide down that pole and you're like, mm -hmm. why, why do I love this one activity? <laughs> So when was the first time like you were like, <gasps> yes, like, this like, is a thing. This is okay to do in in the comfort of my room. You know, it, it was pretty late actually. I would say 21, 22 mm -hmm. years old. Yeah. So I was doing things that mm -hmm. I, I now know to be masturbation, but I didn't like buy the toy, watch the porn mm -hmm. hub, close the door until I was about 22. Okay. For me, I was And I'm 32 for the record. I was, I think I started masturbating when I was 14. Right. But my like elevation with masturbating, I felt so bad about it after oh, I got done. Absolutely. Like, I was like, is it gay for girls to masturbate? Is it wrong yes. for girls to masturbate? Do 15 year olds oh, masturbate? I, <laughs> I go back and read my diaries from mm -hmm. when I was in sixth and seventh grade. And there's this list of like aspirations or mm -hmm. things like goals I'm going to hit when I grow up. And then number one was like, just don't get AIDS or something <laughs> like that. Like, and, and it was like, number two, don't tell people that you kind of like girl. It was like, what was all these things? So there were these conversations mm -hmm. happening around us where I was like, my brother got the masturbation talk, but I didn't get it. So mm -hmm. this must be bad. I remember this must be really bad that I'm doing this. I was in high school and it was 10th grade. And it was when I just started like masturbating. It was just like the hand stuff, you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. And I was in my Spanish class and it was like me and like a group of boys, like another girl. And like they were talking about like, yeah, I masturbate every day before I get to school. Like, right. You know Squeeze what I'm saying? one out. Yeah. yeah. That's and I was me. like, ew, guys, that's disgusting. Who would ever touch their genitals yes. in a sexual manner? You guys are weird. Cause it was like humiliating. Cause, Absolutely. Cause like nobody, cause like everybody's like, okay, yeah, it's cool for guys to jack off. But like for girls, it's like, you know, we're scrutinized for everything oh absolutely so like even like touching yourself is like weird if you're a girl so like in high school i never let anybody know that i was masturbating i didn't start talking openly about masturbating with like my girlfriends until i was in college that's when i was like y'all gotta saying. get on the wave i've been doing got this to get on it i've been doing it for five years girls we gotta we gotta get on the wave when was the first age you bought your first toy like i said that was 22 so in college i want to be clear like i like you mm -hmm. i'm born and raised in georgia so alabama I went to school in Georgia. I went to the University of Georgia. And so it was still sort of a culture like obviously we were like young mm -hmm. growing up women, like transitioning to womenhood. But it was still very conservative. Everybody's trying to see when they're going to get married, et cetera, et cetera. So then after college, I moved to Chicago. Mm -hmm. And one of my first roommates there was uh, like a gay man who mm -hmm. I was very, very close with. We are still like he officiated our wedding. We're still friends to this day. Mm -hmm. And so one day we were talking about like, OK, we're about to move in together. Like, let's go over all of the house rules. And then at one point he was like, OK, so what's going to be our like masturbation policy? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, well, like. I might masturbate on the couch. Like, should I just tell you not to come out? Or like, if I'm in my room, should I put something on the door? Should I just take, cause we were so close mm -hmm. or we would be like, yo, I got somebody over. Like, can mm -hmm. you just like be somewhere else or whatever? And I remember thinking like, what, how often are you masturbating? <laughs> He's like, maybe like two or three times a day. And I was like, what? That's, 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 that's elite numbers. A rookie, <laughs> a rookie season. <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, how often are you masturbating? And I was like, I don't really do that. Mm -hmm. and he's like, Get in, get in, loser. We're going like shopping we're for going, dildos. Yeah. And so we literally went to the sex shop. Got, I got a vibrator. He's like, this is a travesty. He's like, and he's just like very incredible, like white gay guy, mm -hmm. my friend. He's like, you're already a, a black woman oppressed in America. You will <laughs> you not, is, not masturbate yeah, you, you got in, play in our it. home together. So it's not like he was ever around there, but mm -hmm. a gay white man helped me go buy my first vibrator. He's I like, think, this has to happen. I think mine was... I think one day, I think I was 19, and me and my friends were like, let's go, like, to the sex stop. Let's just go to the sex stop. It was like, you know when you're in Alabama or, like, a country town? Like, there ain't shit to do. So, like, going to, the, no. going to the sex shop was like, let's just, let's just ride out and see and what we can find. And if it's too small, somebody's going to be like, guess who I saw going into Pinkies or, yeah. or whatever. You know, <laughs> Pinkies like, is like, always a strip club. Yeah, it's like word of travel that you yeah. even went over there. So, even that, you have to always play off. Like, it was a prank. I was yeah. dared to go in there, but you're like, no, I'm really No, so, like, me and curious. my friends, we went shopping, and then I got my my very first vibrator it was for the clit only. Was it the rabbit? 
No, like the not, two little. No, I've never had one of those. Mine it's was a small, uh, it's a big, it's a starter. Pack. It was it was it, okay. It was like long and pink, and it had like a groove, and okay. it kind of like a like a spoon almost, but it was just for the clit. You know what I'm saying? And that was when yeah. I realized. I'd been living in the olden days using my fingers. Yeah. Like the first time using a vibrator. I tried using my fingers and it just wasn't popping off. Like I, I still I'm jealous this, of you that you can still do the finger. If I necessary. can't. I can't. It's not. Okay. It's not. It's not happening. No. Like I literally don't even want to masturbate if I have to use my hand. Exactly. Like I, 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 no, I have a friend who's like, I bought tons of toys. I still prefer my hand all day. That's or I like, crazy. Or I could, I can make a household object. A, a vibrator. Do tell. Like what? What have you Like used? a shower head or like uh, this electric toothbrush. I'll just get another one. You know? <laughs> you never, oh, come on. No. Never the electric toothbrush. Really? No. What? I mean, at some point you're like, this like- is a crest, uh, crusty to, oh, it's like how we, like black people use toothbrushes as edges. Mm-hmm. Like you're like, I can use a toothbrush to clean the yeah. scalp, the soap scum on my sink. Uh-huh. This electric toothbrush is kind of, it's, yeah, it's dead. I'm, sure. I'm about to buy a new one. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a backup vibrator I yeah. can just put in my purse. Do you have like a, I remember one time I was at Amber's house. This is mad funny. I was at Amber's house and uh, I was sent upstairs for some reason. Huge <laughs> wand. Ginormous it's wand. It's like the just, microphone, but like. <laughs> y'all know the wand that I'm talking about. Y'all know the fat wand with the white head on top. That wand. It was just casually chilling on the bed. And, yeah, I, yeah. and I was like, Ben, can you, can you move this gigantic gun? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're laughing at me. I literally have followers who use that like have you ever seen like that Theragun like it's, yeah. it's literally <gasps> supposed to just be for could, like whoa, thick no. tough muscles yeah. and the girls be using that I'm like how are you walking girl it's y'all are some freaky little frogs yeah people do like they will turn any I'm household lie, object into a vibrator sometimes sometimes I'll be seeing like you know I'll be watching porn or whatever and it's like there's no way you're actually like I feel like the Theragun would hurt would destroy you yeah. but you know what I'm not sure how accurate this is don't quote me on this but Ben said it if I'm if Ben said <sighs> it, it if might I'm be a fact that Ben said it I heard that Cleopatra used to masturbate and the way she would do it is she would cut a gourd open or send her servants to cut mm-hmm. a gourd like a squash. Mm-hmm. They would have to go catch bees in the gourd and that was the vibrator. So they would like tape the, they would find a way to cut There's the gourd not- open, <laughs> put the bees in and then stitch the gourd back together. And so that tells me that you can do anything you want to do to get off. Live bees. That's actually. That's cold, that's right? That's actually, yeah. It could have happened. Like, how is that not that it could have, like, that's so intuitive like you know innovative. i used to what's your before before i was really into like porn i used to just like use my imagination when i masturbated oh what you think about like what was your know, like, like number one fantasy i don't know like just like just like a celebrity boy like trying to have sex with me it was usually an older man when no, i was what minor. celebrity oh an older man okay. like probably like channing because remember when channing tatum when he's like was in his black era when he yeah. was like in step up and like he saw like the long tank tops like i was Channing yeah. Tatum was fine as hell. He's still fine as yeah. But it'd be like Channing Tatum and like Matthew McConaughey. It was like right mm. around the time. Magic Mike. Magic yes. Mike came out. <laughs> yeah. So like I would, but like now I have to watch porn. Like, I don't know if I'm a porn addict, but I cannot masturbate to like my imagination. I don't really think there's anything that wrong with porn. I know I was, one time I was out with some girlfriends at lunch, you know, everybody's mm-hmm. like, she's like, Hey, can I talk to y'all about something? And we're like, anything girl. Like we ain't mm-hmm. got nothing to talk about. Let's go. And she was like, you know, my boyfriend has been watching, uh, she's a black girl, mm-hmm. and she was like, my boyfriend watches a lot of porn, and I just feel like, like, I feel like he's cheating on me. And okay. we were like, oh, this isn't T. <laughs> <laughs> this is your delusions again. I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, she was kind of admitting like the girls didn't exactly look like her in every time. It, like, he wasn't specifying one type of girl. He's like, mm-hmm. sometimes he watches white girls, black girls, Asian girls, but like, he just watches porn and I feel like he's he's not seeing something in me. And I was like, it has nothing to do with you, my mom. Like, some like, people just want to watch some porn. Literally. Like, I, so, love, like porn is, I love porn too. I love, What kind of porn do you watch? <laughs> Lesbian. I watch all types of porn, but my favorite category currently is <coughs> gay gang back. What? Gay male porn. Gay male porn. Oh, I love gay male porn. <laughs> what are we swearing that for? Okay, 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 let's, let's talk about because it. Because we're attracted to men. Yes. And like, I feel like some people just don't get it. I, I am attracted to, but also, like, I if you got the see, sauce, I'm with it. I remember, the reason I'm embarrassed to say it, not embarrassed to say it, but I did see something on TikTok once where this girl, like, made a video about how she loved gay male porn. Yes. And then they jumped her for saying it. 
Yeah, they're like, you're fetishizing us. Yeah. And it was like, no, she's attracted to men. And men, even pleasuring other men, is still very hot and sexy. Like, uh, absolutely. I feel, like, I feel like it's a very common. But, you know, my favorite, I like the best of all the world. So I love a bisexual orgy. Me too. Yeah, hey, me we're, too. We're literally twins. Yeah, I think, I mean, you look at the view count on those videos. Yeah, come on. It's not against like, us. Well, there's something about... I don't know. I I just feel like I, I am very queer and bisexual mm -hmm. myself. I, I am married to a man and we have a child together, but I am still very attracted mm -hmm. to women. I just feel like there's something, and I know this isn't politically correct, but there's something weird for me about like just regular, regular straight porn online. Yeah, it's just, I don't like, know, it's I'm just, always thinking like this girl probably doesn't want to be there. Yeah, like she's, she's probably in some probably contract. Paid enough for this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's some dynamics and power play yeah. happening there. Whereas when it's two women, I feel like they're probably having fun. One of you might be oppressed. One of you, I don't know which yeah. one got played in this contract, <laughs> you know, but in the like, but then also it just looks yeah. like they're like, I don't know. I feel the same way about the straight thing. He's like, the man's just like, it's yes. like that's boo. Like you'll, yes, and it'll be like hard, fast. Like yeah, if there like, was a man like sensually just pleasuring his woman, I think I would like, like a I think book, if, like a book excerpt come to life. Yes, I think if the porn or and this does this is a thing, like some porn is obviously directed by women. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel the difference. Yeah. When the director is a woman, and it's just like just hard, fast, go, I go. Hate I was POVs. like, uh, yeah, I was like, this is where some of the guys that I had sex with learn how to have sex. Yeah. Like this right here. But like, also, yeah, I hate POVs. POVs, I cannot watch a POV because it's literally just the dude holding the camera like the girl like yeah. sucking his dick. <laughs> I, that's not me. Also, the old, the old school. I hate anal. Yeah. Like, as, soon not... as, as soon as I see it go in the butt, I'm like, all right, that's enough for me. Wait, you hate anal in like straight porn? I hate anal in general. So... Okay, so going back to your gay male porn, mm. you, uh, so you, so you <laughs> that's different. So do you like like you're like oh I prefer when they're doing oral sex versus well, like I guess like, I and... don't like anal with women because obviously if I watch gay porn I'm watching anal but <laughs> so you don't watch you don't like like straight it, porn straight, anal get, straight anal sex yes 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 yeah, like, that's not I don't know tea. gay male that's just different. It's yeah, right. it hits different. Like I don't know, you can't explain it without sounding problematic. It's like it, does, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't hit. Yeah, the, it the feels deeper, more equitable. I think yeah. that's what we're getting at. Yeah, the, I feel like the deeper you dive into it, it's like, hmm, you guys are going to start getting like some dicey water. I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna be a black woman that finally says it. it? I love bisexual men. Me too. Because oh, you know, I'm, like that's like a controversial. It's a controversial topic on the internet. I don't know why it's such a hot take. Like I don't people either. are people are beautiful and attractive, and I feel like it is human to be attracted to people's like energy and stuff mm -hmm. like that's why people you know that the, they've never been in a same-sex relationship before and then they go to jail and they're like i got a whole boo yeah. up in here like it's like under certain systems and certain circumstances like anybody is gonna like also i feel like everybody's everybody's a little queer i think that too but you know you say that yes yeah, some people it, I mean, it's a it's a scale. I've always said, like, even when I was like in high school, everybody's a little gay. Everybody, here's the thing about it. This is going back to the bisexual men thing, because I I am married to a bisexual man. Like mm -hmm. he's mostly dated women, but he has had like fun. I with definitely men. did not know that. Yeah, I told you that. No, I, I did not know that about Ben. Oh. Well, this is an exclusive. This is an exclusive. <laughs> you heard here first on Bottoms you Up. That. You have not told me that. I feel like I have. Ben does give this, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he's never had a boyfriend or anything, mm -hmm. but he's definitely like, like before we dated, he's like, I've hooked up with men. And, mm -hmm. and I love that. Yeah. Beca because you know what happens? It's not even just like, oh, you've had queer experiences. Everything is queer. Mm -hmm. Like the, the different kinds of meals that we eat can be different. <laughs> you know, it's not just yeah. going to be chicken, nugget and fries. Mm -hmm. The countries we travel to are going to be more open minded mm -hmm. and more. That's another. Here, that's what that's, it is. There's an open mindedness that comes yes. with being with a queer man. That's what I was talking about to one of my friends yesterday about like why I like bisexual men. It's like I feel like it's like they're fun and it's freeing and like yes. it's not any toxic masculinity like yes we can like yes. we can like joke a certain way and it's funny because like 
oh, like, oh my God, shut up, you dick sucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like, don't say that, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah, but yeah, I get you. But what well, even when I'm thinking about men that I'm attracted to, even growing up, men that I were attracted to, they did, they were a little bit more in touch with their feminine side. Like, yeah, I love the Andre 3000. I don't yes. know if he would say he's in touch with his feminine side, but just like from his style and his mm-hmm. clothes and his different like musical energy, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm into this. I just feel like everything's a little bit better when they're bi. Like, I, I agree. Like, I just are, you, you have, are you speaking from experience? Have you yeah. had sex with a bisexual man versus like yeah, I have. a straight man? Okay, what was the. Well, <laughs> call him out. I'm just kidding. Or not, well, not this. Like, not he was horrible in bed. No, too. no, he wasn't. He wasn't. One thing I did love, uh, he was an ass eater. Love that. You okay, know? okay, yeah. See, they're and, open. But the one caveat with the one I think I've had sex with, I think I've had sex with like two bisexual men okay but the one bisexual man I had sex with <laughs> one time uh oh one time he showed up to my house in panties he showed up oh, to oh you my- weren't you weren't f***ing <laughs> with it <laughs> See, I'm nasty. I, like, I would have been like, okay. Well, I, like, I, see, I feel like my bisexual man masculine, if that oh, makes sense. sense. No, that makes sense. But like, he showed up to my house literally in a thong. <laughs> I was like... He said, you said you like bisexual <laughs> men. So I'm here Not to deliver. <laughs> and then he was like, he was like, okay, so today I want you to dominate me. And I was like... And also... Well, is this is this person was just a hookup? We, we were like with each other, I guess. Okay, so y'all had had sex multiple times. Y'all had had sex multiple times, and and that day he wanted to try something a little bit different. Yeah. I mean, I'm the wrong audience, because I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm I'm like, change it up. Life is too short. Like, I I did it because, like, I was like, let me method act. So basically, he wanted, because, like, for me, when I'm in, like, the bedroom, because I'm so dominant and, like, assertive in my everyday, day-to-day, in the bedroom, I want to be submissive. I want you to, like, tell me what to do. And I love that. He wanted the opposite. Like, he wanted us to switch. You know, ate my ass, he wanted to switch. (laughs) Now I'm eating his ass. But, uh, so he wanted us to, like, he wanted me to dominate him. And I was like, all right, cool. So I literally just method acted. Like, I just, in, like, in internalized Christian Grey and was like spanking his ass. Yes. Like okay, so he wanted like a little BDSM yeah, fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't want to be like fully like pegged or anything. I th- He would have let me. Got you. Yeah. But I mean... I do want to peg a man though. Have you? Yeah. No, I haven't worn <laughs> said, a... You know that they just I'm an me. auntie no, though. No. You know they just reminded me of the way you said yeah. You know that uh, Azealia Banks she's like, so... <laughs> what now? <laughs> next, next caller. What's the next question, baby? That's what that is. Yes, no, I'm not gonna act like I'm like full dominatrix, but mm-hmm. I've definitely like had a dildo that I used on a guy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Did he like it? Yeah. I was kind of bored. I'll be honest. <laughs> but like, you were just back there. F- uh, yeah, just I was over. Like, this is like f-ing churning butter yeah. at this point. Like, what the hell? Like, this is low key just a hand job in reverse. No, that's like the, that was like that's like the broke shake weight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, oh, did I just get kind of to just a workout? Like, like literally. <laughs> but I like you know, you know, in the bedroom, you're like, well, you just pleasured me, so I, mm-hmm. I should, I should. I should do my part mm-hmm. and just and just be about pleasure. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really, I don't really, I'm not really with equivalent exchange. I want to get mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you no, know, be, but also you're, you know, you're you're dating. Mm-hmm. You're you're hot right now in the street. Yeah, I am. So this and is, hot in the ass. This is your and the ass. Yeah. And so this is your season to be like, no, mm-hmm. when you come to my house, it's all about me. Wait, have you ever got caught masturbating? Hmm, caught by like a parent? Anybody? I mean, I guess I've been caught by my husband masturbating. I mean, for does sure. that count? That's also, what I'm wait, saying. Speaking of your husband, like, uh, do you think it's cheating if you're masturbating to somebody else? If I'm me? Do, or like you are banned, it doesn't matter. Like, okay, so for example, let me set the scene. Like, I am in my room, like he's downstairs mm-hmm. cooking or whatever. I'm in my room masturbating and there's a video of like porn going. Yeah. And he walks in on that. Yeah. That's definitely not cheating. In I my don't bo- think- you make your own rules with your yeah. relationship, but I, that can't be cheating. Like, I'm in my room. <laughs> I feel like, I'm not gonna lie, because I be seeing uh, like relationship TikToks is like, damn. It's strict. Are you dating a Are you dating a partner or a PO? Like, yeah, like <laughs> I can't be upstairs. Like you that, got your parole officer. Like some some because like I'll see like he's not allowed to have girlfriends. He's not allowed to like girls' pictures on Instagram. He's not yeah. allowed to be around girls if I'm not around. Like he's not allowed to hug girls. He's not allowed to Yikes. have lunch with girls. It's like we have to. 
that is just a lot of, yeah. I mean, I'm going to call it insecurity. Like it people is. don't like and to I, hear that, is, but is. in relationships where I did not feel insecure. Y'all want to call it I boundaries, but it's not. It's not a boundary. It's not. It's so restrictive. And I think it is okay for my husband to think somebody else is attractive. Mm -hmm. But me and him are in it for life. Like we yeah. we have a family together. We have a home together. We have trust, communication. So you thinking like somebody else has a nice ass has nothing to do with me. Yeah. Like, and nothing, it doesn't shake our foundation. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people just don't feel that and, way. And that's, that's true. But I also feel like that's when you know that you like you've met your person you yeah. know what I'm saying like and that's when you know like the foundation is really strong because like I can be like oh yeah he's sexy as f and then my man will be like yeah he is you know what I'm saying it's right. like yeah and it's, it's not it's not a thing I don't want to go like suck his dick in the back alley like I just yes. think he's hot like that's an attractive yes. person like not and I also feel like society's so like hypersexual like not everything mm. is super like sexual like yeah. I can think somebody's hot without ever wanting to have sex with them I literally, and I'm sure this happens to you, mm -hmm. I will watch porn on my phone, masturbate, and I'm talking the minute I start to squirt, I throw that phone across yes, the room. Like, what? This is what, disgusting. What kind of filth am I watching? Like, what the hell is wrong this with is me? This gross. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, I, exactly. Like, it's, I'm talking about Amber. As soon as my <laughs> as eyes soon roll as back the, to my head, I'm throwing <laughs> the phone on the wall. Yes. Like, that is the most disgusting thing ever. Uh, I can't believe people watch that. Like, if my porn history is ever leaked, I mean, obviously it's all, like, appropriate yeah. stuff, but I'll you be know like, I don't even porn? know who watched that. You know, you're a little older, so I don't know if you're hip, but auntie... Is it Twitter? It's Twitter. I've heard Twitter is that girl for porn. Twitter? Well, okay, what does Twitter offer that Pornhub and the other girls don't? Twitter has like a lot of, uh, how do you say, como se dice? It's like a lot of homemade stuff. Oh, amateur. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love not amateur even, Not stuff. even amateur. It's kind of like amateur and professional, but it's like not the lights and the cameras, but just like grainy. Explain? It's, you know what it's like? It's like when I see a TikTok that's like, okay, too like, edited. I don't want that. I want like, to feel like, like I'm on FaceTime. Yes, 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 yes. And the porn is like, and then also I like what I like about Twitter porn is not a lot of acting. They just get straight to business. You know what I'm saying? So like, these are like more homemade films. Yeah, I, f I don't follow, but uh, I like dabbling a lot of OnlyFans guys' uh, Twitter pages. Okay, so do you, also, but you don't subscribe to their OnlyFans? No, because I want people to like go through my following and see that I follow a bunch of Brazilian OnlyFans boys. Because the Brazilian boys on ah. OnlyFans, they, they give it to you. I need to get it. So do you currently pay for anybody's OnlyFans? No. I don't think I'd ever pay for a man's OnlyFans. I won't OnlyFans. ask you to share. Okay. You I won't? Why? I wouldn't. Because like, it's I, already on Twitter? Yeah. And like it's like dick. Like, you know, I feel like with girls, every girl is like sensual and different and every girl's body is different. I feel like with men, like... A dick is a dick is a dick. A dick is a dick is a dick. And jacking off is the same oh, for you like... you are kind of gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, girls, we have a different boobies. Yeah, and, like different and, and different. And sometimes... And Girls also have more exciting like looks. Yeah, <laughs> like you're like, oh, a piercing's like, there. I don't just... Look at her nail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ugh. but yeah. but so you don't think there's anybody that you currently see on Twitter that you're like, I would know this dick in a lineup. Like I've seen this one so many times. Uh, yeah, there's probably there's probably a couple I wouldn't be able to pick out of a lineup. Nice. <laughs> so so a, people a, a like frequent... the homemade nature of porn on Twitter and then like and Twitter's Tw not Twitter regulating you, it Twitter at gives all you like the, the Twitter gives you like the good angles like they're not mic'd up it's not like huge production it's like if I filmed a porn like right now on my phone because how long does Twitter let you post videos now uh sometimes it's like two like, I think it's like the max like two minutes and 20 seconds oh that's kind of hot too exactly like, short and sweet exactly that's all I need. and yeah. then you can like you can also like they'll probably have like multiple porns on their uh on their Twitter, so you just like go to the next video. What I'm gonna give y'all a hack. If you want to see like Ooh, good a Twitter porn hack, if you want to see good, good, good sex, go to an OnlyFans person's Twitter and then go to their likes, and okay. then go to that OnlyFans person's likes, and then you'll see everybody's. And then it's like kind of like a trickle down. I begin to like rabbit holes of porn on, on Twitter, Twitter. and yeah. people can't track your activity no. or you don't care that they no. do. Unless you like something on Twitter, then you have like so you look at all this, don't like it, and you don't have to pay for it. Yep, on Twitter. Yep. Which Twitter is, is the holy grail. Wow. This is fast. You know, <laughs> well, Twitter, here's the thing. I know about Twitter. I want to, for and the also, record, Twitter, I like, a is Twitter. A, like, Twitter is literally like an outlaw state. You can do whatever on Twitter. Yes. I remember when Twitter first hit the block because I'm about 10 years older than you. Well, right? you know who Miss B Nasty is? No. You've never heard about Miss B Nasty. I have not. 
She's I'm not me on TikTok, but she's a she's like an elite porn star. And okay. She, and she's like, if you go to her Twitter, like you see like squirt in her car because she does like squirt Saturday or some shit like that. She squirts in her car. Yeah. <laughs> Miss me nasty. That's she's, so yeah. Like that's a nice party trick. Yeah. Like she squirts. Have you like, squirted? Of course I've squirted. I've but never. Really? No. I will say that I did not squirt in my lower twenties. Okay. I still got time. So it's like a mental, like the squirt happens when you're like, oh, you took me to the fucking moon. Yeah. And, and, and casu- so that in that in that regard, it's like squirts for me did not happen with casual hookups. Mm. Squirts with me happened with like long term. We've been together. We've been in it. I love you here, here, like front to back. Why. And now you just took me to like euphoria. Yeah. I feel like that's why I've never squirted. Because like a lot yeah. of the hookups I have is kind of just been like maybe a couple times, maybe just once. It's level one. It's, it's like one. a Mario Kart or something mm-hmm. or something with Mario in it. Like yeah. you'll just fall through a hole. It's like I taught you this much. Like mm-hmm. I can't go like ace rainbow road the first time we meet me like that just doesn't happen Mm -hmm. like and people lie about that all the time they're like i had this crazy one night stand like no you didn't no you didn't y'all been talking or at least sexting or describing how y'all want it and then y'all finally linked up and maybe or it just wasn't as great or or you're saying it's great sir and it wasn't for her and that's you know i have a theory and i have a statement that i would like to make i don't think men are allowed to say that they had bad sex because nine times out of ten they nut it I feel like hmm. if you at least got a nut, okay. you can't say that the sex was bad. What happens if they don't get a nut? They can they, say yeah, it's yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, they can say the sex is bad. But sometimes but guys like you don't think, nut because of like them mentally. Yeah, because I feel like I've like, sometimes guys are like, oh yeah, the sex was horrible. I was like, wait, did you come? He was like, yeah, but like still. How, well, what did they describe was bad about it? Just like she the connection? Just, she just laid there. Like, I don't know. She didn't know any tricks. I mean, I mean, you're fucking like a girl off tenor, not a stripper. Like, I don't know what you want her to yeah. do. Yeah. She can only do so much. What if she have bad knees? Right. Exactly. You're so, you just, <laughs> look at you fighting for <laughs> bad knee rights out here. Amber, speaking of doing things that are bad, <clears throat> let's move on into my new segment. Are you the menace? Ooh, okay. Tell me about a time that you've done something really bad or really f***ed up and you're like, dang, I'm a bad person for this. In the re- in the sex world? In any world. I'm a bad person? Or you're like, you did something that was like, not cool. Not necessarily makes you a bad person. Do you? Okay, and I don't you think want, anything that you could ever do would make you a bad person. Thank you. Well, I I would feel like obviously we did more bad things as children mm-hmm. because you you learn more about morality as you grow yeah. older. I shit you not. In f- maybe fourth grade, <laughs> I liked this boy oh, named no, y'all. Cameron. Mm-hmm. Cameron, if you're out there, I'm sorry. It's coming. I like this boy named Cameron. I did the old school, you know. Y- y'all, y'all might have had phones when you were yeah. in fourth grade, but I, not me. People had phones. I didn't have. One. I didn't get a phone until like ninth grade. Okay, okay. So back back in my day, you would have to <laughs> write the, on a, a note. Mm-hmm. Do you like me? Yes or no. Yeah. Check the box or whatever. And so I wrote Cameron a note. I pass you know pass it back, pass them the note, whatever. Because I've always been pretty confident and bold. Mm-hmm. So if I like if I liked somebody, I shot my shot. Cameron promptly marked no and sent the note back. <laughs> I mean, he, I don't even think <laughs> uh, he probably told the person next. I'm just trying to know it. Yeah. Send, it send it back to that whore in the front row. And so I saw that it said no. I was shocked. <laughs> I was taken aback. I was so taken aback that I found a couple of my like guy friends mm-hmm. on the blacktop uh, of the recess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, what could the blacktop mean <laughs> for other people who don't know that? And I sent about two, three or four of them. I was like, you know, Cameron was super mean to me today. Like, I need y'all to handle him. Like, <laughs> I need y'all to do something. That's about crazy. It. So, I don't think they jumped him, but they definitely like <laughs> went and like pushed him around, yeah. scuffed him up a bit. <laughs> um, so I put a hit out on Cameron okay, in love. fourth grade, and so obviously the boys got in trouble mm-hmm. and they ratted out the Godfather. Yeah. So then we all had detention for like mm-hmm. the next week after, and we had to um like back then I don't they probably don't allow people do this now but like back then in a, in a georgia public elementary school they could just make you do like physical labor mm-hmm. so slavery is what we're yeah. talking about and um, so they would make us like move mulch from mm-hmm. the, the small playground to the the big playground that's for like full sessions of recess that's crazy but i did like put a hit out on them so uh, that's not cool i have a i have an elementary godfather story yeah who did you so when i was in first grade Ooh. i blackmailed somebody <laughs> 
<laughs> not extortion. What did you wait? How did you blackmail somebody? What okay, did you, let me, let me even have to me, give? Let me give you the tea. Who so, sold the erasers? Like what happened? They weren't erasers, but everybody that had a little bit of money had these things called grippers when I was in elementary school. <laughs> and grippers were the rubber things that you put on pencils. Wow, you really were broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody you know, had, step, you know my stepmom hated me. But she wouldn't buy you a grip for your pencil. No, no. I, I don't I have I don't have grippers. So wow, there's this okay. one boy in my class that always had a f- ton of grippers like he was like the gripper godfather <laughs> so one day we're outside and we're like running we're running outside at snap <laughs> the grip keeper no you, no you i didn't get it i don't get it <clears throat> sorry your age is showing <laughs> so we're running outside and we're right running outside for snack and something happens and he says like shit i said "Ooh, my ears perked up did you just say a cuss word uh oh, that's a big one too. Yeah, like on the and list was, of like learning. And them. so I looked at him. And I was like, mm, I hate that I heard that. <laughs> I heard it. I hate that I heard that. So I pulled him aside. I said, Listen, man, I don't want to have to tell on you. So like, let me just let me just give it to you straight. I want a plastic baggie of twenty grippers tomorrow. Meet me at the lunchroom before class, and <gasps> we can all make this go away. And, and, you, and yeah, you gave him a, t- a time. Yes, too. I wanted it before or you were going to tell. Yeah, I'm just going to tell the teacher. Yeah. What would have been the consequence for? I don't know. <laughs> but you, but it didn't even matter. Knew. It didn't yeah. even matter. And Ooh. like the good little boy he was, then the very next day at school, we met in between like the office and the lunchroom. He had my baggie of 20 grippers. I counted it out in front of him. And then. And if, I, and if it was 19, my guy, <laughs> you was going straight to and the so teacher. This was like, so then I go to, I, we go to class. I was like, okay, that was super f-ing easy. And then uh, th- th- the very same class, he tells on himself. He goes to the teacher. He's crying. He's like, yesterday I said, I guess because he didn't want like the guilt of me like having something on him. And th- we're in first grade. Every time he saw one of those 20, he would have been like, ah. Yeah. So he just went and confessed. And so he had like stand for recess. Up, up until high school, because we went to the same school, K through 12. High school, I was like, we were having a conversation one day. And I was like, you know, I never really seen them like grippers that I blackmailed you out of. After that day, I went to PE. He was like, oh, yeah, because I stole them out of your desk when y'all went to, uh, when y'all went to the, when y'all went to PE. And I was like, you little son of a bitch. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't like, Keep track of the 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 collateral. No, I guess I guess I just like forgot. Wow. Like, and then I was like, I was like, yeah, because we were older. And I was like, I don't even remember what happened to those grippers. And then I also was like a kingpin too, <laughs> because I don't know. I had this, I had this one. I was like a bully. Ah, hurt people, hurt people. Don't don't jump me. So like, Ooh, how <laughs> then, bad of a bully were you? I was. Why, why would you bully people? Let me ask you that. Uh, I was I was hurt at home, and uh, I would like take. But my, what would you? But like, if I was one of your victims, why was I bullied by you? <laughs> because I guess if you looked weak. Oh my god. Yeah. If you looked like so. Okay. <laughs> Second grade. What does weakness look like? This is, this is where they really, you're going to get canceled again. So. <laughs> I'm not going to explain what, if I just felt like you wouldn't do anything back to me, I would bully you. Got it. Uh, like I said, if you looked weak. Uh, so I remember there's this new student. Uh, he came in second grade. Ah, fresh meat. Yeah, fresh meat. <laughs> and he was the freshest of meat. Chubby, rosacea cheeks, blonde hair, a little chubby. And I was like, yeah, it's him. I remember we were coming in from PE, hot, sweltering. He was so Red. thirsty yeah he was thirsty and i was in front of him at the fountain mm. and i turned wow. <laughs> i started drinking the water and i'm taking my time and he's like Fanita, please the bell's about to ring like i really just wanted like to get something to drink so I, you did I, this for the ancestors huh? <laughs> this feels racially motivated <laughs> It's like, so I'm why don't holding, you go to the whites only fountain over yeah. there? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm holding the fountain. I turn around and look at him, and I was like, "Oh, you would like a little sip of this?" And he's like, "Please, Vanita, I'm so thirsty." And I was like, mm, "Me too." And so I was like, "Here, here's what we're gonna do. I'll let you get a sip of water." <laughs> and this is the words I use exactly. I remember, if you become my slave. <laughs> Wait. Huh? Question mark. <laughs> so the, so you drafted the contract right then and there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, on some yeah, Ursula. Yeah. yeah, I was like, you can have okay. some water if you'll be my slave. And by slave, I mean like you have to carry my books from now on, get my stuff out of the cubby. Uh, it's a pretty nice slave contract. Yeah, yeah, all, yeah. All things considered, <laughs> to, I was like, as beat, to what we know of slavery. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, yeah. Beating them, he just had to like be, be my your like, servant, yeah, your my personal servant. assistant, if exactly. you will. You actually, exactly. Exactly. I'm giving you an opportunity <laughs> to support a star. This is one building day. your resume. Yeah, and then when I make it, you can say, yeah, I used to be her personal assistant. And okay. you can put that on your LinkedIn. I'm giving you job experience. Oh, you're actually just such a giver. So <laughs> how long was he your servant or your slave? Oh, uh, like that week at school. Just that week? Yeah. That's a pretty generous, I mean, I you're a pretty generous him. master, yeah, I guess. I, I, I bullied him continuously. Like, like, like After like, the slave contract? Yeah, I kept bullying him. Yeah. What, did you treat him better when he was your slave? 
I mean, no. <laughs> oh, so he got it. Yeah. Like, I just didn't like him. Wow. Oh, so he really carried your things from. Yeah. Did he kind of like it looking back? I don't know. I don't I mean, I, don't, I haven't talked to him since we graduated high school, so I don't know how he feels about it. Wow. But I mean, I'm sure he hates watching you shine now. Yeah, and I know he hates <laughs> black people, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were probably his first black experience. The first black person he ever met enslaved him. Yeah, I didn't enslave him, but yeah. You, you just he was, said it. He was my... He was, he was sitting in my camera. camera. Did, 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 did this camera... Did this camera... What you just say? You can say was a, he, I, he was pretty much my personal assistant. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him job but experience. But if he wanted to quit, he couldn't before Friday. Yeah. Got it. And he would like, I, would, I might would like push him down if he, if he stepped out of line. Okay. And then I have one if more. If he stepped I out of line. Actually, now that I'm thinking about like my childhood memories and my um, t- like child years, I was actually like a, I was, a, I was a bully for sure. And I own up to that, but I was right. just mean. I remember right. one time we were on the playground and like these girls had found this caterpillar and they were all just like in awe of it. Yeah. Caterpillars in what grade? Third? It was, it was like probably like second or third grade. Yeah. Caterpillars were crazy cool. Yeah. And like, I don't know. They I still just, are. I just like, like didn't, at that age, for I just sure. didn't like seeing people happy. And so I was like, oh my God, guys, let me look at the caterpillar. I want to see it too. And I smashed it <gasps> in front of them all and like walked away. Oh my God. You're like <laughs> Angelica Pickles. Like, I really, was. Like, I really was low key. Um, anyway, like they were probably just watching it like inch forward and stuff. Yeah, like and it, was, it, was like, it was like a whole that. circle. Yeah, I didn't like seeing people happy. There was a, a kid in my elementary school that would, you know, see a like I wasn't a person who was fascinated by bugs, mm-hmm. but like I had respect for them. Mutual, mm-hmm. like y'all over there, I'm over here. And this one kind of like, you know, there's always that weirdo kid. Yeah. He would find a daddy long leg. Mm hmm. He would pick seven of the legs. Off I knew somebody that would do that and too. let the one go. Yeah, and then he'd send yeah, it back. Yeah, there's in. a boy in my class. And I'm like, do that. you are a future. Yeah, we got to put you on that list. Do you think you give good advice? I think I give really great advice. Now it's time for Fanitas Fan Fictions, where our fans can call in and talk to us, and we can give them advice on their life. Advice on their life, right? Yeah. Good. Do I have somebody on the line? Hello. Hey, Fanita. This is Crystal. I wanted to just call in. Um, and see your thoughts on, uh, I wanted to know if it's considered cheating if I'm thinking about somebody else while I'm having sex with my partner. Like, that's the only thing that gets me off. It's the only thing that gets me going. The Is only that thing? Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not doing that. I'm just curious. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that gets you off? That's crazy. <laughs> but is it cheating, though? It's not cheating. I, I, w- I want to start by saying we've all done this. We have? Not, it's not the only thing. I, I have definitely had sex while thinking about somebody else. Mm-hmm. Maybe not the whole time thinking about them, but at some point I'm like, But also, Ooh. was it your partner? I have thought about somebody else while having sex with my partner. Not the whole time. Or but, especially, but, but like, she said, not only is that her partner, that's the only like thinking about somebody else. Like, <laughs> imagine having a man and being like, "Yeah, I can't even get like the only way I'll be able to like get off with having sex with you is if I pretend you're not you're somebody else." That's insane. that's that's wild stuff. <laughs> like, I <laughs> I think insane. that it it makes me more sad than it does yeah. funny because. Uh, but here's the thing: I don't I think like it's maybe, bad. To, um, like, I've taken a bite of sushi and thought. I could really use some fried chicken right now, but yes. I'll keep eating the sushi. Mm-hmm. Like, because I already got it. Yeah, I got it. And there's nothing wrong with this sushi. I'm kind of just craving something else right like now. Like, I get a Subway sandwich, be like, hmm, she got hot wings. Yes. And so, does that mean this sub sandwich was bad? No. But some t- something about today gave hot wing energy. Mm-hmm. So, I think, I personally think it's okay in isolated incidences to, especially, you know, grandma here, especially when you've been with somebody like, almost going on nine years. Mm-hmm. Like I've definitely thought about somebody else a time when mm-hmm. I was having with, the, I was sleeping with the, the person I've been sleeping with for almost a decade. Yeah. And, Which he's, I feel like and that's, he's probably thought about somebody too. And like, I feel like that's, that's fine. But I feel like every time you have every sex time is, with, with your partner, you think you can't get off unless you're thinking about somebody else. I think it's time think to evaluate. Yes. The sex is not good. And I think it's time to evaluate your relationship. If I'm being honest. Me too. I, or something about 
this. Well, and here's the thing about it. Also, it's like, are you just thinking about like, let's say it's a celebrity. Mm -hmm. So are you just thinking about Jamie Foxx while this is happening? Or are you thinking of like, I had an incredible sex with somebody else. And now I'm thinking about that incredible sex. I feel like if it's it's like it's different if it's a celebrity or somebody that you have access to. That's alarming. And if it's one person that you consistently think about while you're your partner is also alarming. Yeah. But what if it's okay? I'm because I want to I want to be on this person's side. What if it's I, like I'm not gonna lie, I can't. What if it's like a toxic ex that she had incredible sex with, Are we and they, like, and she needed to leave this toxic ex, but they had great sex. Are we and, talking about like that plot of that Netflix show, like Sex Life? I that's seen ex- that. that's exactly that. Plot. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I've seen the whole. I've seen the whole show. Yeah, I promise you, I have not seen that show. But, but that's yeah. real. Like you, like people, you can have great. I've had really great sex with somebody who I do not need to be. Okay, with. Okay, th- this is fair. Let's reverse it. How do you think our caller would feel? If her partner... If I was her partner. Yes. And no, no, no. Not even if you were her partner. How would her partner feel if every time her partner had sex with her, they thought of somebody else? Do you think she still think it was okay? I mean, I think she knows it's not okay. (laughs) Yeah. I think, okay. I think we can just all agree that it's not okay. Well, you know... Here's, a, here's what I'm going to say. Are My you playing devil's thing. advocate right now? No, no, no. I'm going to say blanket, like something needs to be fixed. I'm not going to yes. say that. I, but I think it's okay to fix things with your partners. I agree. It's okay to say like, yo, you, Fanita, we've been together. I love you. But the way Derek used to choke me, I, I can't stop thinking about it. Can we try a little choke situation mm-hmm. in the bedroom or, or the way, maybe not name the person because that mm-hmm. might start a fight between me yeah. and you. But maybe something that that person did sexually got you off and mm-hmm. your new partner Honestly, just hasn't done that. I so think, just maybe talk yeah, to your I new think, partner. I think that. talking actually is a good idea. I feel like maybe not calling to a podcast that <laughs> with a stranger, but I feel like maybe just talking to your partner might actually work. Let's pick up another call. Let's get it. Hello. Hi. I'm not going to say my name, but basically I gave head to this one day at school in the bathroom. And that was going around the whole entire school, and I'm not sure what to do. Oh, that breaks my heart. Okay, well, we're talking. We're talking about high school last week. I well, yes, and I'm not gonna. <laughs> let's say for the record, our caller is over the age of 18, <laughs> right? Because sometimes I'll be giving advice, and I'm like, "Wait, am I facilitating pornography of children right now?" <laughs> no, but, I think I think I'm not gonna lie. Because college, she, she wouldn't give a. F- I think it's definitely high school. No, it's still rough when people spread a rumor yeah. that you. Well, or I will say as a former high school teacher, I mean, we had to deal with that shit a lot. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, you know, I was watching like PBS Kids until I was like 16. So I wasn't. I, you I weren't sucking dick in high school? No, I was not sucking dick in high school. Damn. Nobody really was in my school. No, I didn't, I didn't suck dick until I was at least like I sucked 19. dick when I was like fresh out of high school. Yeah, I was having like just regular horrible penetration But I sex. did, I didn't, I didn't know what it felt like when I was like sending news to like a boy at like a neighboring school and then people found out that I sent him news. Ooh, okay. What age did that happen? That was when I was a senior. But then okay, it was also well, was like... I was yeah, how did you handle it? Like, it was people that were talking about me was like, I know you get finger like in the bathroom so like, shut the f*** up. Like, yeah. the, the people that are talking about you have done the same exact shit that you have. Heck yeah. And some of them were probably having sex. Also, okay, here's the thing. There's a couple of things at play. Did you give this person head in the bathroom and is there a video circulating? If there's mm-hmm. no video circulating... Then it didn't happen. It's all hearsay. I l- listen. <laughs> it's all Y'all, hearsay. You saw. I mean, Bill Clinton, another grandma reference, but like he's <laughs> to, to, to hey, the to the very end. You know? Do you know who Bill Clinton is? Finita? Yeah, he oh, Monica, Monica sure. Lewinsky. Oh, she okay. gave him head in the office. Right, but we don't have any actual factual receipts. Yeah, exactly. So and listen, he, hey, once once you're on social media, if they don't got a receipt, a text, a, a video cam, or a picture, you didn't do it. And if you're not being jeopardized and potentially like impeached, you're kind of good. Yeah. So it's fine. Just like if the, like, hey, did you like suck his dick? No, he's like a weird liar. Yeah, and that makes him look odd for lying on you. Or like that. you can double down and be like, I mean, can I call like, can we call his dick suckable? Like, let's let's have yeah. a conversation about like, did I suck his dick or did I just put some chapstick on? Yeah, you know, like like just just roast his ass. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like, and then also, I would say going forward, maybe do sexual things with boys that are your boyfriend. I think that's a little bit more. She didn't say he wasn't here. Oh, oh, because he told. Yeah, he couldn't have been a boyfriend if he told. 
She said, in high school? Hell yeah, your boyfriend be telling but she on said, you. She said he was like a boy that I just gave head to in the bathroom. Um, I think she would have clarified. Well, I think she would have clarified if it was her boyfriend. I don't think that they have to be your boyfriend, but maybe a more trustworthy person that would keep yeah. your secret. Or maybe I'm, I'm not gonna actually please you, girl. Suck dick. Who gives a right? That's what I'm saying. Like, like this won't matter in a year. It won't. Right. As 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 two people who have sucked a lot of dick <laughs> and been like criticized during specific events in our yeah. life, it passes so quickly. It just feels yes. scary in the moment. I think it would feel really scary, especially if, as a if team. people were in person, yeah. saying these things or like they started name calling or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you can also kind of be that bitch, and when people see in the hallway, just be like, "Was there a yeah, question?" Like, you yeah, know, type, like you know, like type of person I am. Somebody's like, "Oh, she sucked his dick and did." Now what? Now what? Where do we go from here? So. Hello? Okay, I have been thinking about this lately. Why why do people ask why you're single? And, like, what would you tell them if they ask, like, why are you single? Um, well, I guess it's a question for me because um, Amber's been in a very long-term relationship. Yeah, but Glow's making it hat right now. Like, uh, like calling who? it FNF. Yeah. Like, that's a great way to describe yeah. how you are right now. Um. Uh, I'm single. I want to be in a relationship, but I'm single because, like, I just haven't found anybody that's worthy of me, honestly. That part. Like, I feel like I'm very much a catch, and I'm very... I just feel like I'm, like, the perfect partner, and I feel like nobody the deserves... perfect partner. Well, yeah. now we're... Yeah. We're, you, don't, you don't agree? Well, perfect is a, is a really interesting word to use. Uh, well, um, okay, let me ask you this. How old are you again? 24. I was single from age, like... Like, I didn't have a boyfriend from high school until about, I met Ben when I was 25. So, you me, 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 your age, I was single. Amber, you make me feel so much better because I'm literally going through a quarter-life crisis. A quarter-life crisis. Okay, well, what's wrong? Because, because the boyfriend. I mean, you got, you got dudes coming to your house in panties. You <laughs> sounds like you're doing just fine. <laughs> but I want a boyfriend, though, and I feel like right. I've never had a boyfriend. I, I feel like that's crazy. But honestly, I was on live, and I was talking about it, and people say, like, a lot of people, like, some girls are like, yeah, I'm 27, I've never had a boyfriend. So. Yeah, yeah, no. I don't I think, I don't I think, think that's I guess that it's shocking to hear. Because... I don't know. So you're saying like in high school you didn't have one, so that kind of makes you feel mm-hmm. like. Well, I went to every- racist school, so I know why I didn't have one. So, in high okay, school. so we know why that didn't happen. Yeah, I didn't have a boyfriend in college. Everybody wanted to be single and hoe around, yeah. myself included. So like that, I, that I was too. Literally talking I was to definitely a guy in a whole stage months. in college. Yeah, I mean, at one point I was talking to a guy for like 10, 11 months, so he still didn't want to be my boyfriend. So, and then I didn't meet Ben until I was twenty five. Mm. So I think was it love at first sight? No, that's <laughs> not how that. I'm sorry that like <laughs> Queen Charlotte has got y'all thinking that's how love works. You shall no. not bring up that <laughs> excellent piece of work on this podcast. I just say that's just not how real love is. It's like uh, this this white dude is so sweet. Like we'll probably just mm-hmm. hang out a little bit. And then she asked what? Why? That is a weird thing to ask somebody. Why are you single? Yeah. Like it's a choice. <laughs> Well, some people are choosing to be single. That is true. Like, maybe you just got out of a relationship. I, th- I think essentially what somebody is asking when they ask that, because I think, I feel like you typically hear that on, like, a date with somebody. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, you feel so great. Why are you single? Mm-hmm. It's because I'm secretly uh, a serial killer. Or they're asking, like, yeah, like, they're asking essentially, like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what they're what, asking. Where are your flaws? What are they? So mm-hmm. I think people should... Like, that's just a better question to ask. But what? What are your flaws? Yeah. Like, tell me where you like asking that tell on the first where, date is kind of crazy. You can ask something like, what do you think? Of, I mean, this isn't a job interview, but what, what, are, what is an area of growth for you? Like, <laughs> like, I think you can ask that on a date. Are you a team player? Yeah. What What would your friends say are your weaknesses? I think what, that's fair what would your What would your friends use to describe you in three words? Me? No, just like on my job interview date. Yeah, see, that would be a good question to ask. Like, that's a better question to ask. But I will say also that I think people are constantly asking people questions about their life. Mm-hmm. Like, especially us. People ask us shit all the fucking time. It's like, yes. bro, we never catch a break. Yeah, like, I think, I think if you were dating someone, people would still have questions. Yeah. And like... As far and I'm not trying to say like, but no, single people get it harder because I'm sure you've mm-hmm. had a ton of people ask you like, why do you think you're single? Whatever. Mm-hmm. But as somebody who's married with a kid, every question I get is, when's baby number two? Mm-hmm. Where did y'all meet? What are what are y'all's flaws? Whatever, whatever. But mm-hmm. do you feel like a lot of people ask you why you're single? Yes, and I also I also I feel like when you like are in the content space and you have followers, people just think you know shit. 
Like yeah. people just think you know shit. So they like ask you like, oh, like Fanita, I'm in like, I'm going into college, da 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 Like there's a lot of things that I haven't experienced myself. And people mm. do always ask me about everything. Like I'm like yeah. the messiah of just like, I'm an all knowing being. I Listen, I just make jokes. Well, this is the first generation of being able to actually access the people you love mm-hmm. and follow. Um, Amber, do you think Ben is a dad you like to f- Is, let's be clear, is the father of my child and husband mm-hmm. a dad I'd like to f- Yeah. Do you think his, do you think his penis satisfies you? I would have to say yes. Okay, I'm gonna play a game. We're gonna play How Big Is It About <laughs> Mr. Ben Wallen. <laughs> Movie Magic, bring me my tray. I have a very long carrot, mm-hmm. a very fat eggplant, a slightly curved banana, a very round and voluptuous yam, and a very thick cucumber. Now, Amber, you post a lot of content with Ben in his underwear. And there's <laughs> this one particular video you posted on your story. It was maybe like a month and a half ago, two months ago, and Ben's dick was looking at me through the camera. <laughs> And I wanted to slide up on it so bad, but I didn't know if that was going to cross a boundary in our friendship. But I was going to be like, Amber, I see why you married him. Like his dick, and it was like soft. He has a it, nice dick. It yes. looked And he's huge. a grower. Yeah, like yeah. it looked like even, like I was like, oh my God, I, I see it now. Like Amber, I'm telling you, anyway. You know, it was something so normal in your house. So he's in underwear every single yeah. day in my home. So I didn't realize that that was like a big, like a deal, a big yeah. deal when people saw him on the internet but no. now it's a deal yeah but yeah people I see, be like I see, respectfully sis your man's junk yes yeah, yeah. and i seen it i was gonna slide up on it i was like wait let me not let me not cross the boundary you, you were gonna slide up on it and okay <laughs> on instagram i was gonna be like oh wow i see it on instagram yeah Got i was gonna it. slide I was up like, your husband you mean like the next time you came over <laughs> i would love to film this okay okay no i was gonna i was gonna slide up on it and be like hey ben's dick is huge like no no disrespect yeah <laughs> okay i'm gonna guess i'm gonna guess Wait, honestly, wait, wait. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a combo. I feel like it might be the bananas. I don't know. These are. I feel like it curves slightly. Too. I feel like it curves. I'm gonna go to banana. I would have picked the banana too. <sighs> Look, me being a detective, I'll tell you guys, I'm never wrong when I'm playing this game. <laughs> and that is. Have been... you ever chosen the yam on somebody? <laughs> Girl, hell no. Okay. Do you think? What do you think my boob is? <laughs> we should do. How big is your boob now? With yes. That? <laughs> All right. He's a banana. I love you, my banana boy. We love you, banana band. Amber, your husband's dick is huge, but that's not the only thing is. So is your heart. And I'm oh, so glad that like, you've been... something bigger than my husband's <laughs> dick? What is it? <laughs> I'm so glad I had... I was... Amber, I love you. You know I love you. Yes. This has been a blast in a glass, and I knew it would be. Oh my God. I feel like we should cheers to we that. Should. We should cheers to like, we literally, me and Amber literally met in LA and just became like besties. Like we've been cool ever since the day we met and I'm so glad to have you in my life. You're literally, you're literally the sister that I've always wanted. I love that. You know, you you knocked on my door one day asking for crumbs. Yeah, I asked you for a cup of sugar. Much. I did. <laughs> And I said, I'm, get in here. I'm basically an you. orphan. Come on in. No. <laughs> I was like, can I, get a, can I get a little bit more of a morsel of porridge, please? No, you're just so, I mean, pe- this is why people love you. Because you're so authentically you. And I, I, I'm I, actually really excited to help you find, like, a partner. But yeah. you don't listen to me. I don't, but I did. When I tell no, you to stop f***ing with people that you know ain't no good for you. You're I'm like, doing better, nah. though. I'm doing better. I oh, you are. Uh, okay. you be, once we go to lunch, I'll explain everything to you. But okay. tell the people what you have coming up and where they can find you on social media. Oh, my gosh. Hi, everyone. So I have two big things that you can tune into every single week. On Tuesday nights, I host my own AMP show called Bad Advice with Amber. Um, and that's Tuesdays at 5 p.m. PT. And then my husband and I run a podcast called Fly on the Wallen. Our last name is Wallen. So like a fly on the wall. So that drops, um, you know, every Wednesday. Um, visuals for that. So Fly on the Wallin podcast and Bad Advice with Amber. And you can find me, Burr, I am, B-U-R-R underscore I am, like Will I am. But mm-hmm. most people are just like, oh, it's Burrium. <laughs> okay. I didn't think that through. Love. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where you can find me on TikTok, on Instagram, YouTube, all the things. And guys, you know where you can find me? Your young, hot, sexy host, Fanita. You can find me on all social platforms at Fanita. You can find more episodes of this podcast on the Pass Your Bedtime YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my TikTok. It's look good this episode. Who knows? How big is Amber's husband's dick actually? Let's all comment anxious in the comments. Um, And make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.